Hello everyone, my name is Andre and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to look at how to deploy a Bedrock WordPress website to a shared hosting account. Actually, Bedrock was meant to be used with a virtual private server or even a cloud hosting account like DigitalOcean or Linode or Amazon Web Services or any other cloud provider. But sometimes we do need to work with a shared hosting account, so it can be tricky. That, that's why I spent like a few hours trying to see how this works. So without any further ado, let's jump to the computer and see how to do this. So this is my Bedrock installation from another tutorial that I've done in the past. And the first thing we need to do is go to the files. Actually, I already have this open here. Go to the files and select all of them and then compress them to a zip archive. This is not going to take a lot. So here, here's another thing. Usually when you are working with Bedrock, you will need uh, SSH access or actually the ability to run composer commands. In my case, in this tutorial, I will show you how to do it without having an SSH access or terminal access. So I have the website here. I, I've already opened a shared hosting account. I'm going to drag it open here. So now here is the website. Here is the folder for the website, for the subdomain. I've, I have already added a new database and imported the local database into this one. So I won't be covering how to create a database, how to create a subdomain in cPanel. I'm just going to show how you, you can deploy a better website. So the first thing we need to do is upload the file and the file is here. It's going to upload now. So, okay, so here is the zip file. We only have to extract the files now. Okay, now the first thing we need to do, actually what I'm doing here is installing the website on a subdomain. If you do this on your main domain, if I would do this on, the, on my main domain, I would have to, uh, put bedrock in the parent folder and then you will have to do this you will have to change the web folder to rename it to public html here it is public underscore html and that's okay and then you should go to the config server application.php edit a file and and go to this line and change from web to public public and underscore html without the semicolon public underscore html okay now this is all okay and now we have to go to our dot env file and change the database connect, uh, credentials so i'll just copy the database name the database user and the database password it's a local host. And of course we will change the, the domain name, the URL of the website. It's bedrock. Okay, all it's okay now. And the next thing to do is we have to create a HD access file. Let me show you why we have to do this. Because if we open up the website, here is how it looks. If we go to the public HTML, we get to the team, we get to our website, but we don't want to go to public HTML. So the first thing that we need to do is add the WordPress HD access file. So uh, we're just gonna create a new file in here, dot HD access, and now open it. So we are going to write, to copy and paste this one, and we will need another thing. This one, uh, this code, let me just uh, write it here. This is a um, must. This is only for subdirectory. So we need to uh, have the rewrite engine on. We have 
written the URL of the website and now we won't have to go to the public HTML folder to see the website. So let's see now how it is. Just save this file and here it's the website again. And now we have hello world on the subdomain no subdirectory. If you install the this on the main directory, if you install this on the main domain, you we, you will only have to put this one and put it in the public HTML folder, not in this one. I'm doing it this way because I've uploaded the files in a subdirectory. In the future, I think I'll make another tutorial on how to do it on the main directory and maybe with even, even with composer access and SSH access and composer abilities. But this one is, for example, you want to upload it on your subdomain for staging. Like I also use my domain and basically that's all. That's all you need to do. It works. Let's try and go to WP admin. I'm already logged in, it seems. It all works good. It all works nice. It's it's just the way it should work usually. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks a lot and have a great day.